Let me show you how to make some lamb nachos. Get our lamb and slice it into chunks, just like this. You need one of these. Simply throw in your lamb, two cups of water, and spicy Danos. That's the red top. And yes, that's all you need. All right, now we Instapot, high pressure, two hours. All right, it's been two hours. Look at how tender that is, just falling apart. And lay out the tortilla chips. Get them spread out and laid out nice and flat. Now we take our delicious falling apart lamb and we're gonna just cover all of these nachos. Now it's time for the raw onions. Bunch of tomatoes, black olives. Now I got some shredded Monterey Jack. Now we top it with our jalapeno. You gotta have the Dano Chipotle, that's the maroon top. And now we're ready. And about 10 minutes later, look at that. But that's how you make some delicious nachos. Yum, yum, get you some. Now I've made a lot of chicken wings before, but I've never made them like this. Check it out. We're gonna use baking powder. Now what that does is help dry them out and make them extra crispy. Next step, throw them in our air fryer. 400 degrees, we're gonna set it for 20 minutes. While our wings are cooking, let's make our sauce. Start out by melting a stick of butter. Now you need a couple big scoops of some minced garlic. Last step, you need the Dano's seasoning. Get it mixed around. So it's been 30 minutes, and we got our crispy wings. Check it out. Add your crispy wings to your sauce. And give them a toss. All right, it's time for the moment of truth. Look at that. Yes, sir, -y Bob. That's a dead on my chicken wing. Yum, yum, get you some. Yeah. One block of the white Velveeta. One block of the yellow Velveeta. One container of pico de gallo. One container of our corn salsa. One block or one container of cream cheese. One big bag, two pounds of mild cheddar cheese. Another bag of the queso cheese. Two small containers of crema. For a little extra heat, dice you up two jalapenos and throw them in a pan. Get you two tubes of chorizo and add your chorizo in, both of them, and one pound of ground beef. Chop it up. Now we're gonna grab us one bottle of Dano's Hot Chipotle. We're gonna add that into our queso. Now we add in our meat, grease and all. A heavy whipping cream, but don't do too much because you can't take it out. We're going on our rec tech. Look at that, absolutely perfect. And now it's time to yum yum get us some. Enjoy. Check out this Philly cheesesteak slider. Yum yum get you some. I'm using some regular old bakery rolls. Slice them right in half, remove the top. I got me some thin sliced New York strip, Worcestershire, and some Dano's Chipotle. Now it's time to make our Philly cheesesteak. Bell peppers and onions, a handful of salt, and a handful of pepper, the oil, and some water. Get you a big handful, one of a kind cheese whiz. Put on your cheese whiz and spread it out. On we go with our lid. We're gonna baste the tops with a little bit of butter. Then we're going with a little bit of crunchy Danos. That's the black top. Now we just slice right down your bread line. Now we go into our 300 degree up. They were in for 15 minutes. Then I covered them and let them sit for 10. Would you look at that? We're going in for a bite. 100% honesty, I've never had cheese Whiz. I get it now. Yum yum, get you some. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Dan Yaki.